So everyone has had challenges answering the question, how fast is fast, and especially when people compare you with uh, those uh, high-frequency trading algorithms. <coughs> anyway, um, I'm Saurabh. Uh, I'm a product manager at Newstar, and uh, I handle the web performance management and load testing solutions at Newstar. And uh, this morning, I wanted to take a few minutes and share uh, my observation in the benefits of having a multi-cloud load testing solution and why we decided to build a multi-cloud load testing solution when we already had a single cloud based on Amazon. So uh, multi-cloud is an interesting concept, uh, and we're thinking of multi-cloud as uh, diversified stocks. And so investing on multiple clouds is like investing in uh, diversified cloud portfolios, where you try to increase the performance uh, and reliability of your, uh, of your application with reliable results and less noise. So uh, before I talk, get into uh, that complex thing, or simple thing, I wanted to take two minutes and talk about how we've moved from the, uh, uh, the information technology uh, era to the business technology era. So uh, basically, not a long ago, we had a great, deal over, uh, a great deal of control over information technology, and we had information, everything inside, internal, and it was locked, and we had a control over it. Resource performance and resource management was an internal concern, but it was ours to handle. But then we had this... Uh, we, Increasingly, we were trying to virtualize uh, uh, resources at the core and mobilize them at the edge, and, they were, and this resulted in a very complex equation with many moving paths. So, as you can see, so and basically, all of the, and basically, you have to think of this uh, as the new business technology era, where we, f where the information, where businesses aren't fueled by the inf by the by the information that we are serving, but uh, they're actually fueled by the massive volume of interchange or exchange of information happening across multiple clouds and multiple technologies. So uh, traditionally in our industry, the testers of high performance application uh, like the consistency, consistency of internal load testing solutions, because these were like mounted on bare metal setting and uh, they provided very high consistency. So we were compared to them, and this set, this set a benchmark for consistency. But what it really lacked was the reliability of true external testing for load testing solutions. So a good step in overcoming this was basically a cloud-based load testing solution. And Newstar uh, began as a cloud-based uh, load testing solution where we, basically, where we basically spun up thousands and thousands of resources on Amazon to provide load testing from the cloud. So we used to spin up hundreds and thousands of virtual users to cloud test or load test your website and tell you about the performance and the throughput problems or, or the capacity problems on your website. So enabling customers to use, uh, to use the cloud to generate this massive load made the tests more scalable and more cost effective. And it was easy to set up the tests, and operationally it was very easy for us. But this brought about new challenges in improving the accuracy because you were always compared with those internal uh, load testing solutions, which were uh, kind of those high-frequency algorithms that you're being compared to always. And <clears throat> so we realized that a single cloud-based solution wasn't enough. And so, because customers were always trying to f uh, get those accurate and consistent results. So last year, we looked at how we could leverage all these other clouds available in the market, such as Rackspace and Verizon and Google Compute, to see if we could solve some of these problems related to the variability uh, of the tests that are being performed on our, on our infrastructure. So our hypothesis was, our, our hypothesis was that we could actually improve the reliability and consistency of the solutions or the answers that we spit out for load tests uh, in a more reliable way if we can use these clouds as a portfolio of clouds and generate traffic from each of these clouds instead of just one cloud. So, <clears throat> so basically, and, and why this was important was because when you're in a, in a, in a, a prospective customer call, the, they always compare you with these uh, internal solutions, and, they, and the first question they ask you is uh, the provisions that we have made to reduce variability from the cloud. So sometimes you're saying the, the, the load test or the page load times is milliseconds. Sometimes you're saying it's seconds. And so what's the true performance? Because it's different at different times of the day and things like those. So we started answering different business questions like, 
is it more valuable to test from three locations on the same provider from Amazon, or if it's more valuable to test from three providers on the same location? And if we perform tests from different clouds with different configurations at different times of the day, what the results were, and what the results were at different times of the week. And when we try to like, compare all these data sets across clouds and across configurations, is there any insights that we, can get, that we can get from this and say, oh, this problem was actually an internal problem or an external problem because of the infrastructure? So as we said, a single means, distortion and unreliability. So we, we figure out <coughs> that using a single cloud is the, first, is, the first, is the first step to a more reliable and secure uh, and a faster cloud. But the next step is actually to use a multi-cloud-based solution. And for that, which means that, that basically meant using other clouds, such as Rackspace or Azure or Google Compute and all these guys, to generate traffic from their, from, from their infrastructure itself. And, and we were trying to test our hypothesis whether, the clarity, whether, whether there will be that clarity in the load testing results. So uh, we... we Sorry to jump ahead. So uh, f uh, to give you an example, when you use a single, pro uh, single cloud provider for load testing, you might see some errors and believe that you're required to investigate those errors. But when you're using a multi-cloud environment or a multi-cloud structure to actually generate this kind of a cloud, you can, uh, you, can validate, you can validate the legitimacy of the errors that you're seeing based on just one cloud. So if only one cloud has the issue, then the error is most likely out of your control and you need not waste time solving it. But if you see that error across multiple clouds, then it might be something which is internal and you might want to look into it. Because the thing is like, Using multiple clouds basically point, pinpoints to some specific root cause problems that you don't see immediately. And even simple issues like connection, connection resets or socket timeouts or DNS lookup errors, they can be very time consuming. And I mean, if, if, if by just looking at multiple tests, you can just figure out if that's an issue which is because of the cloud provider or the infrastructure or because of your internal configuration, that's very valuable for our customers. So multi-cloud approach seemed to provide a better visibility and better clarity, and uh, it provide, provided better insights into the performance uh, for the load test solutions. So to basically make multi-cloud work, we had to, uh, we basically ran through some of the, some, some problems which I've highlighted here, and uh, these are some basic problems that we usually don't pay attention to, but uh, I just wanted to highlight because we thought they were very effective. So one is the relationship with the service provider. So one of the business, one of the requirements for a load testing solution is that you actually are, uh, that you spin up thousands and thousands of virtual users or virtual uh, instances on Amazon in a certain time before you start the load test. So if the load test is supposed to, supposed to start at 1 p.m., 10 minutes before that, you're basically spinning up these thousands and thousands of instances. And so it is necessary that you talk to the cloud provider or, or to Amazon and Rackspace or whoever and let them know what your business model is or what you're actually trying to do, why you want to spin up those many instances. So, and why do you want to spin up those instances in 10 minutes and 5 minutes? Because we, we were seeing variability in the number of instances we could spin up, so from somewhere around 5 minutes to 45 minutes. And that was causing a lot of variability. So we found a lot of value talking to the cloud provider, DevOps guy or DevOps guy or someone in the engineering side and help us with that. And ultimately, you're dealing with multiple cloud providers, so uh, you have to manage some of the overheads uh, dealing with these uh, multiple clouds. So uh, in, we basically used uh, OpenStack to manage our and initialize our resources for, uh, but you could also use companies such as RightScale to manage your multiple cloud portfolio uh, for provisioning and things like those. The second thing is optimize for the cloud, and this was very uh, important because it's very different on when you think about, oh, everything is on the one cloud, and I'm going to analyze all the results which are there on my one cloud. And we had Amazon Web Services, AWS, and everything. So basically transferring data from one AWS to other AWS costed us, but it was fine. But now we had a multi-cloud solution, and we were transferring a lot of content or data that, or the tests which, which were performed on one cloud to another cloud. So uh, we had to think about the cost. And so make sure you have a good strategy when you're thinking of providing analytics to slice and dice your data for the customer. And uh, you take that into consideration in the beginning itself when you're architecting the solution. 
The other pro problem was prov provisioning the machine images. So uh, we basically used, we, we started using uh, custom images, custom machine images, uh, and we, 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 uh, we, we found a lot of troubles with that. So because the thing is, when you provision a custom image, sometimes on one cloud it takes like around five or seven minutes, and we were used to that consistency on Amazon. But when we were trying to do it on other cloud providers, we had to understand that latency, what that latency was. So understanding what that cons consistency would be is different. So on, on other cloud providers, we had to see if base image would work better or a machine image would work better. So those were some of the challenges that we had to think about and the other thing is best, pro best, practice and best practices, which were very specific to our solutions and the, some of the benchmarks. And um, just to highlight, we compared some of the configurations in the cloud, and we knew uh, that uh, the, the, the load test or the solution or the performance will be different on different clouds. So we benchmarked how our performance, how our cloud test will run on each of these solutions so that we can tell our customers that if you are expecting this type of cloud and this type of instance, this type, you're going to get this type of performance. So ultimately, to wrap this up, multi-cloud was uh, definitely beneficial in terms of providing more readings and more data. So when you, when you have more data, you can visualize things better and understand where the actual root cause problem is. Moreover, we could truly provide infinite capacity. Uh, so there is a limitation on how many, uh, uh, pro how many virtual users you can spin up on Amazon or any other cloud provider. So we could, like, uh, get hold of infinite capacity. And then you can, you're not logged into one cloud provider, and you can see and uh, you can choose what cl cloud provider to go with uh, based on your business or performance decisions. And ultimately, our customers wanted a single platform for testing internal applications as well as external applications. And so and we, we basically treated private cloud and private uh, public cloud as a single platform, which helped customers to uh, see all the results in the internal and exter external applications to slice and dice to get more insights. So these were some of our learnings, and hope some of this helps you when you think about your multi-cloud solutions. Thank you.